Onivia League of Legends highlights. Prefer the Lucian set, top, the Lucian top side. I will give a caveat, a warning for IMT. They've done Jace top lane whenever they generally put a carry in the top side of the map. Um, oh! Yeah. Yeah. And we've already kind of gotten that that example of Lucian protecting Zac from the invade. You know, yeah. that was an early invade here on the red buff, and they're also trying to force Zac off of the Krugs to defend this potential invade, or rather potential dive here onto Revenge, who has no flash. Okay, Revenge in some trouble with the root coming down, the CC going out, and the Haymaker right upside the jaw for the first blood. Fake absolutely rattling bullets into people non-stop. So hopefully they'll have better tools to deal with it here this time. First Drake of the game. Lords, man. <laughs> All right, so Shelly does get off a really good charge that will lead to first turret, despite the fact that she was summoned up in Timos as a whole, is going to reject fighting for the second Drake. That will be Immortals grabbing both of the first two as that second Herald gets the charge off, gets the turret destruction here in the top lane, and Neo and Acadian should be able to escort it in and make sure they get the second charge here onto the tier two. Yeah, not much of an opportunity for Revenge to kind of stop this by himself. The charge will go up, but they're on mid. Oh, a nice play coming out there, and I believe that is say good night oh, oh, oh. to you. Sui Ray's picking up the kill credit, getting Immortals. Is this good enough to start just running the show in the bottom side river and stopping the Immortals Drake stack, right? Because an Infernal Soul is a lot of gold's worth of value, so you know Dig's going to start needing to contest those here. Aphromu barely getting out of the way of the scatter of the week, and he throws himself down a Solar Flare. Destiny is locked down, beat up, goodbye. Zerse gets knocked back there, but he's able to find a nice stretching strikes onto two. Insanity taking a lot of damage, but Acadian's about to die here first. Revenge getting the kill onto Neo, and now look at the reset. reset. Go even harder. Yasu, you'll be your target. They're looking for a little bit more, and Ray's got him. Thank God against the world, and oh, baby, the world is a big one. Insanity's putting in the bullets. Immortals are putting out the damage, and Dignitas are all going home. And Revenge taking down Neo in the back line to me was, was a critical part of this fight. So the initial... It was that initial calling from Insanity that took two-thirds of Yasui's health, made him mm -hmm. fall back. Neo down to 20% okay. HP. He's not in a good spot. Immortals Ooh, now might collapse. be caught out. Ray's, you are deader than a doornail, my friend. No way Ooh. out of that one. Shut down by Neo. Where's Neo's health? Well, that, that, uh, that one's walls, doing 90%. a little bit of a disappearing act as well. Now, Revenge is going to get stunned Ooh, up. However, nice buffer. he buffers over the wall. Insanity right. doesn't have culling, so I don't see how they can fight this. It's just trying to keep vision, and here we go. All right, time for the 50-50. Over the wall they go, but the Drake is already down. Zerse with the flash over the wall going in for the Lutz. Bounce, Acadian's already dead. Make it two for one. Yasui will be the next be one barren. to fall. Fake God with a four-man clap, but they clap back. A double kill over to Revenge. And Let's see if they can do anything about it. Yasui's alive in five. He has a teleport. They may be able to force IMT off of this. It is a very slow Baron take. Yasui is coming in. Raze goes for the damage onto Neo. Takes him down to a quarter. Aphromu jumps in on top of everybody. Look at a tank up, Baron but it will not 3K. work. Baron's still at about 2,000. Xerxes got the smite, but he's got he to use it early. early in order to stay alive. Okay, they get the Baron, but now can everybody get over the wall? Yes. Bizarre. I'm not sure yeah, if that's that is like... the most saturated summoner's rip. I'm not sure if he actually plays like that or if that's some sort of a weird thing going on with how, how the replay was, but that looked bizarre. That was some um, Alice in Wonderland call. Oh. He didn't actually have just on, on his screen, even though he should have, if he had re-centered it on his character. Okay, let's see if Immortals can take this even further. Oh, Insanity's very further forward. The man's already dead. What in the world is he doing there? Now the follow-up's going to be more extreme. They'll kill off Xerxes, but they'll only get the passive. A little more work has got to be done, but it will be able to trade Afro move back. So make that one a one for one. Ooh, Revenge is looking. Ray's looking for a little bit more. Revenge is ready. Goes for the stun over the wall onto Neo. They're throwing him up into the air. Right back out. Execution oh. over the wall. Revenge is he going in. He jumps away. Let's see if he wants to keep trying to reset. Acadian tries to walk away. Yasui dodges out from the scatter of the week. Revenge, Destiny, and Raze. Three-man squad from Immortals versus a three-man squad of Dignitas. Immortals continuing to push forward. Destiny goes in for the knockup yet again, but will not be able to find it. Scatter of the week will, but nobody else can follow up. Raze is almost out of mana Realm here. Warp. Okay, Acadian's dropped in with the Realm Warp. Doesn't find the wind becomes lightning. Revenge is here on the front line, but now he's got to be careful. He's right back into the back line. And Fake God's already down. Now Revenge is ready to reset. Yasui, goodbye. Afromu and Acadian now have to.
to try to survive this one, but Revenge is still going, baby. He is ready to bring this one home for Immortals. A double kill over to the Lucian. More bodies piling up with Dignitas uniforms on them. And Immortals are going straight to the Nexus. Neo versus everybody on IMT. That is a pretty easy bet, my friends. See you, little Tristani. You didn't have a chance in the world. 26 minutes in, Immortals take down Dignitas and go up 1-0. Finishing it off with a Bud Light Ace there. Immortals, what a game. From Insanity as well as Raze, they were cool. Silas is, is somewhat difficult as well. Um, you know, generally Mord is just dealing so well with tanks. Percentage HP damage, the passive, you rush toward but the... He spent so much mana in the early levels. He TP'd back, has already had to base again and walk back once more. So he's going to yep. lose a full wave. It's oh. TP here from Insanity. Insanity's ready to go. Afromu wants to escape, but the distortion forward says not today. First blood over the Immortals mid laner. They will map not... ...whatsoever. So not only does Insanity go bot side and get that kill, he's likely actually going to get the... The wave as well. Oh. This could be solo kill. Revenge going in. He's got the devour. He throws out the tongue. One more oh. leg. Utilize his additional regen there, trading the ult out aggressively. Fake God has the response of his own ulti, and he's trying to go in here. Okay, Revenge goes in. Doesn't quite get the knockup, but he's got a lot of extra damage coming out here. Fake God has to try to walk Next away from seven. it. There's the tongue lash. One more hit. Flash for the lick. Fake God is down in revenge. 2,000 at 12 minutes is a very nice lead for Immortals to have built up for themselves yeah. at this point. We did not see. To complete his Rift Maker, so he's still waiting for that. Uh, he's going to decide to make a pit stop towards what looks like Merc Treads here. Oh. And Revenge just going at him. Revenge. Oh, and he oh. devours him after the claw, and Raze is ready and waiting. Now, he will have to wait for this seven seconds in the Shadow Realm to end. But, oh, baby, Revenge got the Blue Eyes <laughs> White Dragon. See ya! Oh, Revenge, the tongue slap into the dive there. They're going for Insanity. Looks like they will catch him. Insanity in trouble. One more hit from Akkadian gets it done. He had the auto attack, but even if not, the Iron Spike Whip active oh, would have had the range. May be. It is Tom Kench, though. Yeah, Revenge will be a difficult target. He does not have He's his ulti. Frog. He does not have his ulti. This next wave would be the time to do it. There is no one else here on the side of Immortals to try to help Revenge. Yasui under pressure here in mid lane, but he gets away to safety. Okay, let's see it, Revenge. Three-man play coming out. Aframu gonna take the aggro here with a start. Never mind, it's over to Akkadian. Revenge still going back in for that one. Thick skin keeps him alive. TP's coming in, and now Immortals have found their counter attack. Aframu is grabbed by the death sentence over the wall. Insanity picks up Akkadian, and Dignitas digs their own graves. Double kill for it stands. And I think it was smart to actually give that one up because Revenge had no TP. He used that to get to the yeah. bot lane tower to actually protect that, but Neo gets hooked. Neo getting chain seed seed, but there's the power of the Zaya. That's what we were talking about. Destiny's stuck in the death realm here with the Mordekaiser, but now a lot of damage coming in. Revenge with the save. Ray's going to be pulled away to safety with the Devour. Shield keeping him in good enough condition, and now they're going to turn the damage right back around on a fake god. Revenge keeps on going forwards. Revenge, 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 revenge. Unload the Toad. Permit the criminal bench the Kench on Clark the Frog. <laughs> say it however you want to say it. He's popping off. You had way more than me. <laughs> <laughs> You've been studying your Tom Kench. I like it. They're looking for the dive here. Revenge going to go over the wall. Over the wall he goes. Two man knockup comes out. Don't you all ever doubt this man's power here on that catfish. You got Immortals with a four man squeeze. His damage was about as much as the whole enemy team, so it's okay. Both your top laner and your jungler also. 3K ahead of Neo. He's got the full Lord Doms on top. He's got the Tom Kench, the Thresh for safety, Guardian, and They must fight, You've right? You gotta do something. We, we can't have a world where Dignitas chooses not to fight at Infernal Soul when you're already down this much. Yeah. Yasui's going in, trying to 1v1 Insanity, goes in here for the King Slayer, grabs himself the heal, got another team fight breaking out here in the mid river with, we've got Destiny trying to get away in the picture in picture, Ray's throwing the ulti over the wall, Insanity gonna still be chased down by Yasui. You got Insanity running away in the top side river with a little bit more damage coming out to both sides. Dignitas chasing into the enemy it's jungle, gonna find something, Kadian's gonna be killed. You still got Insanity looking to escape over the wall with a distortion if he can, goes for the flash, <laughs> distortion out, the man staying alive. Meanwhile, revenge, oh, the enemy bot lane's by 
behind enemy lines, and that's not where you want to be. It ain't saving Private Afro. It ain't saving Private Neo. The movie ends early, and Insanity punched his ticket. Three dead for Dig. It's before that's an almost on spawn Baron. Immortals Woo. have everything and the kitchen sink in this game. They took Dignitas's kitchen sink. They said, you don't need... Raise plus revenge is just kind of this unstoppable duo now. And once Xerxes is behind you, there's just no way out. Dignitas, oh. this is all you can do. This is smart. Dignitas going for the pick here. They go after Xerxes, but it doesn't work. With Aphromoo already down, Fake God goes into the death realm here with Insanity. Looking to take him out of the fight. Insanity with some fancy footwork, staying away, putting some burst onto Fake God. And as he comes out of the shadow realm, he's sent straight back to hell. Xerxes, sin. First time if it's a critty dies. I mean, that, that is the toughest part about playing from a disadvantage is that. Even if your opponents make a mistake, I like or, the fact they went for something. You gotta try something because this game is just completely out of control. But with oh. that going bad, this is all over. Neo saves the ulti, thinking that even if he gets knocked up, that he will not die in the CC and he can get away. But that's not the case. Immortals have the damage, they have the lead, they have the game in the palm of their hands. They will do nothing but pad the stats on their way to the victory line. Yasui's the last. Nope. I couldn't even say it in time, man. I couldn't even get the words out of my mouth before they put that man right back in the spawn platform. There's your Bud Light Ace. There's your game number two. Two minutes faster than game number one. Immortals are on track for a clean sweep. You couldn't get the words out of your mouth, and uh, Ding Tusk cannot get out of the fountain there. And no. The end. Immortals, no. Amplify yeah. revenge. Whoa, hey. please do it. No, you ain't mm. doing it. You please do it. In a knockout situation. Do it. No. Oh, no. Situation is Camille, where you run out of mana, and Nars trying to hold the wave, not allow you to actually fully reset it. Uh, they are. Oh, they're going to TP in. They oh, want this die. They're wow. actually going all the way in for the play. They know that Fake God does not have any way out. There's your chain CC, making it look easy with a first blood for Xersei. Nice. They are already up almost a thousand gold in five good. minutes, man. Things have been going good for him. Dignitas is hanging out here on the bottom side brush, maybe looking to again. Go to the source of TF, right? Try to stop him as now they're making the play on the enemy support instead. Destiny is stuck in a bad place. Tries to get away. Ray's coming in here with the bombs. Looking to give him a little bit of backup. But that's Dignitas getting in and getting it done. Picking up one. Over the wall goes Ray's, but now he's in trouble. Having a flash away. is going to be healed up. Acadian taken down, but not taken out. Xersei and Insanity coming in. Looking to make a punish. But so many Dignitas six. players alive is a problem. Revenge has made his way into the fight. And Yasui, he barely stays alive there with the invisible. Ability is about to get away. The flash into the stab will not do the job, and Xersei is going to get punished and killed. Dignitas, huge early plays. Raze teleports right back into the mix. He'll get a kill, but he'll be dead as hell. Neo takes him down. Four to two game for Dig. Vanity, he bites the dust, and Dignitas critically turned the early game around. <laughs> Destiny, that's not a brush. You'll want to be face checking, or is it? Revenge is here, ready to provide the damage. He jumps jumps forward, it's a good stop on the hook shot coming out from Neo, but will it be enough? He goes for the Hextech ultimatum with his eyes set on the enemy AD carry and gets him. him, and now they're about to go after Acadian as well. He uses an early... But things looking a little bit better for the Dignitas side. Yeah, you can see right here, FTX Gold Graph. Thank you so much, producers. Look at how rapidly things change they're going right by. there around that six minute mark as they're looking to make the play down here. Neo's in a bad spot, he's in the ground. Insanity takes the kill and Immortals are looking to grab another. Xerse with the execution gets it done and IMT right back. Look in how the defensive his build is. He went tabbies and a stopwatch this early on because he knows the possibility of getting one shot here by Akadian and Yasui. Yep. Revenge gonna have to get out of there, but they have the roams to match. They jump right back in. They know Akadian has no more stopwatch. He is already dead. Yasui goes in with a nice three-man ulti, looking to take Insanity out of the picture, but the stopwatch is able to keep him alive. Revenge in hot pursuit. Oh, the gold guard. And he is after Yasui. Insanity stays alive, but will finally be taken out. Yasui with the flash over the wall gets away. We got a one good sign from a Dignitas Ross that a lot of times is looked at as, okay, they need to have Acadian make plays and win through bottom. Yep. Now mid lane, 2v2 breaking out here. No Destiny flash, remember. putting a lot of damage. CC on Yasui. Yasui's trying to get away. A nice ulti. 
but it's not enough. He's already taken out of the picture. Destiny ended up grabbing the kill on him. Viego ulti over the wall. A flash out as well. Zerse really wants to get away from this one, and the Blast Cone might be able to help him. Using their early advantage to snowball towards dragons or just or just kind of blowing the game up really, really early and getting a huge gold advantage. Oh, they're going in. Oh, Revenge is not afraid at oh. all with the TP showing up, but that... Oh, it's just for the tower. They're yeah. just going to try to siege here. At first, I was like, that's a weird TP insanity, but then Zig <laughs> showing up makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Just going to farm these plates up, and this is, this is really nice. Just move them around the map. Okay, they're going all the way in. Revenge looking to aggro drop here a little bit with the outplay on the shield, and he gets it. Uppercut kick to take them down, and Revenge grabs himself some more money. Now with a four-man push up here in the top side, they're looking to take this one all the way out of the picture. The turret plating will just Vito's now fall. Power. Is Ray's able to get it? He throws out the satchel charge. It is barely oh, for like the fastest yeah. possible soul, right? So that That's is how you time. force them to group, and that is a long time. These sorts of champions that create such a 1v1 threat, when you aren't super far ahead to just absolutely bully them 5v5, oh, they're that's looking. scary. And now Dignitas is in a bad spot yet again. Aframu killed off, Zerse taking the credit on that one. Everfrost over the wall, following it up here oh. with a nice depth charge. Flash into the soul oh. of death <laughs> sentence, and Kiana, the queen, don't mess with the king. And there's the triple kill for Zerse. Zerse's coming for that crowd Got on the map. You see that Neo is in mid lane. All of a sudden, the whole squad shows up here with TP. Just like I said, you leave the side lanes. Yes, you can grab a tower, sure. But you are all sharing this experience while Camille is getting solo gold. It's only the second dragon for Dignitas. Honestly, who cares? But they maybe feel like they can just win 5v5. Dignitas looking for the opportunity. Flash coming out from Aphromoo. Flash away from Destiny. There goes the big bomb. Mega Yasui's Inferno hunting. ready to roast. Fake gods pulled away over to safety. Yasui going after Ray's Destiny's already dead to Neo. We've got ourselves two dead on the side of Immortals. They walk right commit to this, and Immortals will end up losing two lives for nothing and yeah. losing out on the Drake. I mean, there's just overconfidence, honestly. You know, Immortals are in a great position. Yes, you were ahead a couple thousand gold. Yes, you have the map advantage, but why fight into a... It's not really going to be a concern, and Sandy should have this down before there's any response. All right, so now we're at the point of the game where Immortals will Neo, Hourglass for Acadian. There are six potential stasises in our next team fight. Yeah, and Ding Toss like actually. One of those, those health bruiser, like meatball type builds, right? But no, Revenge isn't doing that. You've got the Ravenous Hydra second item. Dignitas is starting up the Baron. No way they come into this. There's no way, right? There's no shot that this is going to work. And, and now that Felios, in terms of his overall gold count now, he's doing all right damage to it. It's not done yet. TF ult's gonna see it's down to about 6k. Zerse pops the blast cone there. Some Ziggs bombs coming in. Oh, insanity! He's gonna be chained CC. What in the hell was that? Dignitas just immediately with the pick. Enemy mid laner down. You've got Revenge taking the Drake. So at least they're gonna stop Except the to Zerse stole. now. Can Zerse steal this? He could potentially flash over the wall and Viego ult back out or vice versa. Ziggs bomb over the wall is going to take it low. He he got it. He gets it! You got to be kidding me. Dignitas lose the Baron. Immortals now looking to make something else happen. They're grabbing the first kill and they're going in to find even more. Neo's in the stasis. Revenge is going to go in. Yasui with his stolen body. That's just revenge. He's enabling it and Zerse is setting it up. Zerse is popping off. Revenge is popping off. Immortals is popping off and Dignitas is going down. Ace for the Ruin King. Ace for Immortals. And broken dreams in the dust for Dignitas. They're gonna, will they just try to end? I think they're going to go for the end here. There's with no. insanity pulling away. They, they have Ziggs and TF. It's going to insta-die. There's no reason not to go for the end. You've still got 15 seconds on the Dignitas bottom lane. Yasui and Akkadian will not be up in time. Immortals will clean sweep Dignitas out of the playoffs, out of the potential conversation for Worlds, and out of the rest of their season. Immortals win this series. What a final fight for Xerxes. Coming over the wall.